Modern commercial appliances have made cooking more efficient, but have also created new and more difficult problems extinguishing fires. Here, a local fire department battles a deep fat fryer fire with hand portable extinguishers. Clearly, the fire is tougher than they anticipated. After laboring through five 20 pound dry chemical extinguishers and one 10 pound CO2 extinguisher, a two inch hose line finally cooled down the fire. NFPA 10 Standard for Portable Fire Extinguishers 1998 Edition and Underwriters Laboratories Incorporated recognize commercial cooking fires and deep fat fryer fires in particular are unique and surprisingly more difficult to extinguish than more common flammable liquid fires. To address this problem, a new classification of fire has been established. Class K. NFPA 10 1998 Edition states 2-3.2 Fire extinguishers provided for the protection of cooking appliances that use combustible cooking media, vegetable or animal oils or fats, shall be listed and labeled for Class K fires. No longer does NFPA 10 refer to a Class B rating or placement according to a Class B hazard, and the term grease has been removed from the NFPA Class B symbol. Because cooking media fires are now considered a separate class of fire, the definition of Class B hazards refers specifically to petroleum grease. Class K extinguishers are now required per NFPA 10, and Amorex provides the solution to tough modern commercial kitchen fires. Amorex Corporation, the largest manufacturer of fire extinguishers for commercial and industrial use, is also the first in the fire equipment industry to be registered under ISO 9000. Amorex continues to lead the industry by revealing the need for better hand portable fire extinguishers in commercial kitchens after recognizing a potential problem when dry chemical extinguishers are used on cooking media fires involving modern commercial equipment. To give some background to this unique problem, let's look at some live fire tests that simulate new UL test procedures. Because of the unpredictable nature of fire testing, all of our technicians wear proper protective gear when conducting a live fire test. All of these tests use a deep fat fryer having a vat measuring 18 inches by 18 inches. The vat is filled with fresh liquid shortening and heated to no less than 685 degrees, at which point auto ignition occurs. With the heat source still on, the fryer is allowed to burn freely for one minute. Then the extinguisher is activated. An intermittent discharge application was used to simulate what might be expected from a novice operator. Suppression is achieved no less than 10 times, but the shortening continues to reignite. This is the same dry chemical agent that is required in NFBA 10 prior to the 1998 edition. This same extinguisher earned a UL fire rating of 40 BC by extinguishing a 100 square foot heptane fire. Our test fryer is only 2.25 square feet. That's 2.25 square feet. The combination of the fryer's insulation, the high auto ignition temperature of the shortening, and the lack of cooling from the dry chemical results in failure to extinguish this fire. This difference in square footage between the fryer demo test and the actual UL40B test fire clearly demonstrates that fryer fires are completely different from common flammable liquid fires. This distinction had to be recognized and overcome. Knowing water extinguishers may be present in some restaurants for the protection of Class A hazards, and since sprinklers are allowed for the protection of cooking appliances, we ran another test using a two and a half gallon pressurized water extinguisher with the following results. The operator was standing back approximately 18 feet from the fryer and still had burning shortening splash on his protective clothing. It made little difference whether a straight stream or a broken pattern was used. Our third test fire used the same 18 inch by 18 inch deep fat fryer with a one minute fuel pre-burn. For this test, we used a 20 pound sodium bicarbonate based dry chemical extinguisher, rated 120 BC, which substantially exceeds the requirements of all NFPA 10 Class B fire protection recommendations. It should be noted that the UL test fire for the 120B rating is a 300 square foot pan fire containing a 2 inch layer of heptane. Again, our test fire is only 2.25 square feet. The operator uses good application technique by splitting the front edge of the fire, achieving fast suppression. Discharge stops when the operator can no longer see. 
It should be noted that during the test, an 8000 CFM exhaust fan was running and a loading dock door was open. Despite this, vision quickly became obscured. The fire stays out for a longer period of time, up to two minutes, but reignition occurs. Again, the heat retention properties of the deep fat fryer and the high auto ignition temperatures of the shortening prove to be too much for the dry chemical extinguisher to handle, and reignition occurs after the extinguisher has been emptied. The Amorex model B260 wet chemical extinguisher has been tested and listed by Underwriters Laboratories for Class K applications. The model B260 contains six liters, approximately one and one-half gallons, of a potassium-based solution, which is discharged through a fine mist spray nozzle, much like a wet chemical fixed system. The fire is extinguished by the cooling effect of the liquid, discharged as a fine spray, coupled with the smothering action of a soap-like foam created when the extinguishing agent comes in contact with the heated shortening. Instructions require the extinguisher to be discharged on the fire until empty for maximum cooling effect. Notice the nozzle grip permits the operator to remain at a safe distance from the intense heat while allowing the spray pattern to be directed on top of the burning surface where it will provide maximum cooling. This test fire was easily extinguished and secured. Vision was not obscured during or after the discharge and no splashing of cooking oil occurred. Hundreds of fire incidents have proven the effectiveness of the nozzle grip. While dry chemical extinguishers have failed to extinguish the Class K fires, the Model B260 extinguishes them easily and cost efficiently. The nozzle grip fits tightly in the band and allows for an overhead application without having to lift the unit. By applying wet chemical directly to the fire, there is no fallout to cause further damage and contaminate other areas in the restaurant, requiring expensive cleanup. The Amorex model B260 pays for itself with the first use. And, not only has the model B260 passed UL's Class K testing, it also qualifies for Class A requirements with a rating of 2A-K. The 2A rating meets NFPA's requirement for protection of solid fuel cooking and makes the unit applicable for use anywhere in the restaurant. This means the model B260 is not only effective on Class K fires involving cooking media, but it is also just as effective as a two and a half gallon water extinguisher on Class A fires, has some effectiveness on Class B fires, and has passed UL's test for Class C rating. The Amorex model B260 features a stainless steel cylinder, chrome-plated brass valve, fine mist spray nozzle, a composite nozzle grip, and a six-year warranty. Its sleek appearance complements any environment, whether in the kitchen or the dining area. When considering the safety of restaurant personnel, the Model B260 is the easiest extinguisher to use, with the best possible cooling agent on cooking appliance hazards, as well as other hazards in the restaurant. The Amorex Model B260, the first and still the best Class K fire extinguisher. We also offer the same features in a larger capacity wet chemical extinguisher. The Model B262 is a two and one half gallon capacity unit with the same 2A-K rating. Another first from Amorex Corporation. Thank <laughs> you.